do that. And the main things I said to the lads in there that the main thing when that these fixtures come out in a couple of months' time, Aston Villa will still be in the Premiership. Oh, you've heard it before, and um, it's never nice because the lads have gave us the, the lads have gave everything in their body to um, to go over the line. Supporters come a long, long way and pay good money to watch and, and try and see their team their team win. But you've got to be big enough to take it. There's been a lot of speculation in the build up to the game. I don't know if you're aware of just an hour before, so that possible takeover happening in the next 24 hours. Is that something you're aware of? Uh, what is that? Say that again, that one. Is it? Uh, no, listen, I'm, I'm not sure, no doubt. Um, no doubt I'll, I'll know in the next... Um, I don't know, I'll speak to the chairman tonight and uh, I'll respect, as I say, respect what he what he says and everything that's going to happen. So I've got a lot of time for Randy, top bloke, but it's his football club and he'll he'll decide and what's going to happen, he'll decide what he's going to say. You obviously started a project Oh, of course you do. Yes, it's, it's a brilliant football club. It's just too big a football club to to hover about where it has. It should be rivaling places like us, and it has been in the past. You think that's possible? Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, the, the fan base that it, it, it takes that. It's a huge football club, and if it does get it right, then it certainly can go up there. Okay, thank you. Tough, tough. As I said the other day, that's probably the greatest thing I've done and been a manager. And that's me saying that to you after get succession promotions with, with Norwich. And um, but the magnitude of this club and what's been going on, it's 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 been really tough. But as I said, I said to the lads there, you've got nothing to be ashamed of. Proud as anything of you to to go over that line. As I said before, that it will make you stronger because when you're in adversity. And you come through it, it'll make them stronger. What does this club need now, Paul? Is it too simple just to say investment, or what, what do you think? No, you're, 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 it's, it's simple. It's simple. Paul, when the fans are singing, we want our villa back. How do you take that? What does that mean? No, I, I know. Listen, I'm every bit as disappointed as aim. I don't, I don't sit there and think it's, it's a bed of roses or enjoyable. It's, so they, they pay their money and hard their money to travel long ways and and get here. So I understand everybody's frustration. That doesn't do any good for players on the pitch, does it? Does that affect them negatively? Well, they're a young group as it is. It, it, it will probably affect the best experienced players. Nobody likes to be criticised. Human nature dictates nobody likes to be criticised. But you'll come through it. And, and when you come through it, it will certainly make you... It will make you stronger. It's no, it's no nice to hear, but I understand it. Well, two years ago, Alex was on the receiving end of that, and you were in the opposite dugout. Mm. You know everything was, you know everything was really fantastic when you arrived. Where did he, you know, where did he go wrong? It's not. It's, 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 listen, it's not went wrong, Matt. The actual thing of the lads commenting there is it's just too simple to see what smacks you right in the face, what it needs. That's that's the bottom line. It's. If you don't have it, then this football club's too, it's far too big to hover about where it is. It's too big. It's too, fan base is, it, it's hard for me to explain that. Fan base is too big to have the club doing what it's doing for the last few years.